Welcome to day 11 of our 30 days of practical AI journey. Yesterday we did interview prep by typing on the keyboard, but today we're gonna step up our game and go from typing to voice. Isn't that cool, ChatGPT? Yes, that's really cool. I think so too. And after today, I hope you talk to AI a little more than you type to AI. So let's take yesterday's questions and then turn them into a real conversation today. So uh, are you ready to get future proof? Heck yeah, let's get future proof. <laughs> All right, that was painful for me too, but let's dive into this. Quick reminder, if you haven't watched the series intro, highly recommend you start with that. It's gonna explain everything about today and all the rest of the videos in the series. Let's start as we always do with thinking about what would a human need in order to do this? So, hey, we're just moving from text to voice. So just like yesterday, we need to know all the information about the job description and the analysis that we did and the company information and the manager's struggles. And we also need to have our resume and all the information about us. And then we take that and we go through the same thing. We've generated our interview questions already. We're gonna use those same questions that we had yesterday and we're gonna have it perform a mock interview, but with voice. So again, same exact flow. And this is the difference though. In our prompt today, instead of doing all the how you're gonna ask me questions via text, we're gonna tell it how to do the voice interview format. And specifically, we're gonna tell it to speak really naturally, really conversationally. We're gonna have it ask us follow-up questions and be conversational rather than analytical and adapt to the pacing to what we do. If we talk fast, it's gonna talk fast. If we talk slow, it's gonna talk slow. It's gonna pace with us. And our RG code today is very simple. Be my expert interview coach, conduct a voice-based mock interview and evaluate my responses questions with a star feedback and vocal instructions. It's important that you add this stuff in and you'll see exactly how that works when you look at the prompts. And a reminder, all the prompts are free, links are down below. The output is gonna be to ask and provide structured feedback. So ask me questions, give me feedback. And again, as always, if I can help you with anything, please ask me, dear AI tool, and we will rock this casbot together. So let's get into what we're gonna do here. So I've got a brand new temporary chat window with ChatGPT. And I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna grab our voice interview framework, all right? So again, exact same thing as we did yesterday, except we've got that new voice interview format and we're gonna still give it the same topics that we talked about earlier. So I'm gonna grab all of this, this entire prompt, all the way down, and I'm gonna go back to my new window and I'm gonna say, here you go. And we're gonna add in our five important documents. And actually, you know what? We've upgraded that to six because we've got some questions now. So we've got our job description, we've got our company analysis, we've got our hiring manager challenges, we've got the actual job description itself, and we have our resume. We're gonna add those in really quick. And then we're also gonna add in the questions, the interview questions that we generated yesterday. And when we do that, at the very end now, I'm gonna do something very important. I want you to hear me out on this. We're gonna say, do not begin but just confirm that you understand what I want. And we say go to this, all right? It's gonna read those documents. It's gonna say, awesome, I've reviewed everything. I fully understand what you want, a voice-based mock interview. All these things, it says, okay, we're good to go. Let's do it. When you're ready, just say, let's start and I'll kick off the first conversation. Now, very important, I'm opening up my phone. I'm opening up ChatGPT on my phone. I'm gonna open up the sidebar in ChatGPT and I'm gonna to go to that voice interview coaching. There's the exact same thing that I was just showing you on the screen, but now I'm gonna click the voice button and here we go. Fix this thing. I'm ready to begin if you are, let's go. Great, let's dive in. Here's a question that might come from the hiring manager. Describe a time you had to convince multiple stakeholders to adopt a new governance standard. How did you approach resistance? Take your time and whenever you're done with your response, I'll jump in with some feedback. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. All right, when I worked at Acme Corp, I was really important on the governance team and they asked me to do this exact same thing. So I talked to the key stakeholders about what we were going to do and I decided that what I was going to do is implement a change to the flim flam system. And the flim flam system's change was all about changing the data governance and making sure that no one had access who shouldn't have access and everyone should have access who should have access. And I was able to increase the revenue that that team generated by 250% and I was able to decrease the number of data incidents that we had on the team by over 4,000%. How's that? I, I love the energy and the confidence. You definitely covered the situation and task clearly. You explained what the problem was and what you aim to achieve. Now to refine it a bit, let's make the action steps more specific. 
What exact steps did you take to get stakeholders on board? Maybe mention how you addressed their concerns or what kind of communication strategy you used. Also, when talking about results, it's great that you highlighted the improvements. Just ensure the metrics are realistic and clearly tied back to your actions. Overall, you're on the right track. Want to give it another shot with those tweaks? So you can see how this functions, right? I love that it even called me out on my BS of like ridiculous percentage improvements and stuff like that. So you see how this functions, okay? This is absolutely game changing. And if you've got 20 minutes in the car, now you can have a productive conversation with your AI robot in your pocket and prepare for an interview. You're driving to go visit a customer, cool, have it prep you for the customer call. You just wanna learn something new with the time that you have in the car, you can do that and you can follow all these formats. Anytime that you need to provide a document though to these systems when you're gonna to talk to them, you always should, at least in my opinion, start it in the standard text-based interface, upload the PDF, confirm that it can read it, and then switch over to the voice interface. It's really impossible to basically say, uh, look in my documents and pull up a PDF when you're talking to this thing. So again, you know, lots of options that you can go through on this, but let's talk about how you can get more advanced. So besides joining the community with Camo and besides taking our deep dive AI courses, uh, same things that we talked about yesterday, customize your format, customize your questions, make a custom GPT for this. Highly, highly recommend those things. But listen, you can start to customize how you want the voice system to interact with you. Maybe you want it to talk faster by default. Maybe you want it to challenge you more by default and be kind of like a, you know, asshole interviewer or something like that. This takes a bit of trial and error back and forth, but you can really start to get this to be exactly what you want it to be. And especially if you know anything about the person interviewing you, you can start to clone their style as well. So there's lots that you can do with this. And again, I'm super excited to keep going on this crazy, crazy journey. So uh, if you have any questions about today, drop them in the comments. I will answer every single one. Do not forget to subscribe so you get tomorrow's video where we are going to start talking about how to write end of year reviews for yourself or your employees. The least fun things that we have to do each and every year. I'm going to tell you how to make that process an absolute breeze, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for it. Day 12.